Welcome back to Lego Ninja Warrior Season 2. I'm the Blue Crystal Warrior. And I'm the Red Crystal Warrior. We're on to our last episode of Qualifying, so let's see who else will move on to the new city finals. Let's go down to the Green Crystal Warrior to see how the course is done. Thanks guys. As usual, competitors will start off with the floating steps. Next is the pole grasper, where they must climb from pole to pole. But be careful, there is a high chance that you will slip. Then on the razor beams, they will run as fast as they can without falling off the sections. On the wheel hop, they must swing from the first wheel to the second, and then to the landing. Lastly, they would run up the warped wall and hit the buzzer to move on. Evil businessman Tupet is evil, a businessman, and a Tupet. Oh, he's also out on the second obstacle. This formed virus is named Quake. He stumbled on the razor beams, but he managed to survive. Now he's on to the wheel hop, but it looks like he missed the first jump. Who allowed the blue bandit to run our course? He's done some evil things, but that save was pretty cool. Well, I guess he's better at being a super villain than a ninja warrior. JJ is the founder and leader of Extra Stuff. He's on to the wheel hop, and he's off the wheel hop just barely. There he goes up the warped wall, climbing up it easily. Alex is the second in command of Extra Stuff. He also owns and runs the channel Extra Stuff TV, which you should consider subscribing to. They make stop motions and animations that are pretty cool. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it up the warp wall both times, so he's out, but it was still a good run. The Scorcher is one of the more deadly viruses. How deadly will he be on this course? Apparently, he's the one who's dead this time. Angry Workman Tubehead is angry, a workman, and a Tubehead. He's also out on the first obstacle, and he doesn't look too happy about it. This is Ralph. He has unnaturally long legs, which hopefully will help him out. It looks like they did, as he flew right up the warped wall. Ocean Tubehead is often sent on missions by Dr. Tubehead, but I guess this mission failed. Or Tubehead is crossing the pole grasper. He stumbled on razor beams, but can he save himself? He was close, but in the end he couldn't. Arctic Explorer has been in much colder places than this, so she can probably handle this course. She made a nice save on the razor beams, but ultimately she failed on the fourth obstacle. Our final runner is Spark Metal. He was the number one competitor last season, so let's see what happens this time around. He almost fell on the razor beams, but he's moving on to the wheel hop. Finishing with a flip! I like that! And he tried to do another flip to get up the wall, but that didn't work out, yet he was still able to finish. All four of the two heads who ran tonight ended in the last four places. That's quite unfortunate for them and their reputations. After them, we had the Blue Bandit, followed by two more viruses. Arctic Explorer hasn't had much experience with ninja things before, but still did great. Our two runners from Extra Stuff came next and were just behind Ralph. As expected, the number one finisher from last season was number one tonight. It's been a wild night, but there's still more to come in next week's episode of LEGO Ninja Warrior. What will happen in the new and action-packed City Finals episodes? You can find out as long as you don't miss them, starting next Saturday on Gentle Penguin Productions.